Jacob von Mensur. Jacob von Mensur. Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina to Jesus. Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina to Jesus. Elizabeth Fritzel. Elizabeth Fritzel was kidnapped and raped by her father Joseph Fritzel from 1984-1993. Fritzel gave birth to seven children during her captivity. Three of the children were brought upstairs to live with the rest of the family, while the other four were held captive with Fritzel. After the eldest daughter fell ill, Joseph Fritzel took the girl to the hospital, where her illness and his explanation raised suspicions. Elizabeth was allowed to go to the hospital, and eventually shared her entire story with police. Fritzel later confessed to his crimes, and was sentenced to life in prison. Sean Hornbeck In 2002, 11-year-old Sean Hornbeck was kidnapped while riding his bike. Michael John Devlin ran into Hornbeck with his car, causing him to crash. Feigning concern, Devlin went over to help Hornbeck and shoved him into his vehicle. He later told Hornbeck that he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hornbeck lived with Devlin for four years. He had a girlfriend, often went to the local shopping mall, and even spoke to police officers once about a missing bike. No one recognized him, and Hornbeck had been brainwashed to believe that Devlin would harm or kill him if he revealed his whereabouts. When Devlin kidnapped Ben Ombi, police tracked him back to his home, where they found Hornbeck. Hornbeck was reunited with his parents. According to a follow-up interview conducted in 2013, he now has a full-time job and lives with his family. Devlin is currently serving three life sentences in prison for kidnapping and child sexual abuse in the cases of Hornbeck and Ombi. In 2011, Devlin was stabbed multiple times by another inmate who was disgusted and angered by Devlin's crimes. Natascha Kampush. Natascha Kampush was held in captivity for 3,096 days by Wolfgang Proklopel, who repeatedly raped her during that time. She escaped in 2006, and Proklopel's body was later found lying on train tracks in an apparent suicide. Ten years old at the time of her kidnapping, Kampush was dragged into a minivan by Proklopel. For eight years, she was held in a tiny cellar and badly beaten in order to further prevent her escape. Proklopel sometimes let Kampush out of the cellar to do chores. On the morning of Aug 23, 2006, she was vacuuming his car when he suddenly got a phone call and had to step away. Kampush ran to a neighbor's house and explained that she had been kidnapped and held against her will. She was returned safely to her family. John Paul Getty Roman III John Paul Getty Roman III was kidnapped by Italian gangsters when he was just 16 years old. Million was demanded for his safe return. His grandfather, Mr. Getty SR, refused to pay the ransom, and three months later, his abductors cut off his ear. A ransom of a million was eventually paid, and Getty Roman III was released. Though nine men were arrested, only two were convicted of the crime. Getty Roman III later had an operation to rebuild his ear. Sabine Darwin. In 1996, 12-year-old Sabine Darden was kidnapped by Mark Dutroux and held captive for 80 days in a cellar. She was snatched while riding her bike to school. Another girl, Letitia Delhez, was also kidnapped in order to give Darden a friend. 
witness wrote down the registration number of Dutroux's car during the abduction, and Belgian police eventually tracked Dutroux down and arrested him. Dutroux admitted to kidnapping and raping both girls. Five bodies of his previous victims were found buried in the cellar. Patty Hurst Patty Hurst Graham Thorne Graham Thorne Charles Augustus Lindbergh, Jr. Charles Augustus Linder, Jr. Jessica Lunsford. Jessica Lunsford was abducted from her home in 2005. Her body was found one month later behind a house where John Evander Cowie was staying. Cowie was later found guilty of kidnapping, murder, burglary, and sexual assault. Michael Anthony Hughes Michael Anthony Hughes Adam Walsh Adam Walsh Amber Hadgerman Amber Hadgerman Elizabeth Smart J.C. Lee Dugard J.C. Lee Dugard Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care, bye!